This is the LTV 1200. And you can see that it's pretty much the same as the LTV 1900. The big difference is going to be over here. We now have an adjustable uh, peep on the face of the machine. No more turning that ratchet knob to get to your peep. So it's simply press and turn to the amount you want and press again or simply wait for it to run out of the time and reset itself. Okay, let's take a look at the LTV 1200. Pretty much the same as all of the other LTV ventilators. Power on and it's going to go through a digital check, audio check, and then go right into the previous settings. Okay, so we have a volume mode, assist control, rate of 10, 550, and story time 1.2. Uh, we are on room air 21% and sensitivity at 3. Now up here you can see that it's giving us our digital reading. We have a peep of 10 and now we have peep setting over here on the face of the machine rather than the little ratchet control. As the digital pressure reading goes across it will show you the last pressure reading about 48 and here you can see in the data screen the various uh, measurements pip 48 map of 15 the peep of 10 uh, frequency of 10 uh, exhale tail volume 530 uh, minute volume 5.3 ide 1 to 4 and uh, v dot count is okay, now to make any changes, you simply press the button under each of the elements that you want to change. But notice only the brightly lit elements are those that are functioning in the mode we're on. So, rate, title volume, eye time, FIL2, sensitivity. So, these other ones we can change, but they have no effect until you go into a different mode. So if I wanted to change breath rate to 12, I would press it. Notice everything else is dimmed out. I would change my rate. And then I can either wait for the timeout feature or press that button again. And now it's set at a rate of 12. Down below we have the selection of volume or pressure mode. And these will take a double clip to confirm it. One See it's flashing, hasn't changed, and two, now it's in a pressure mode. And we'll go back to volume mode, and my alarm silence is over here. Same thing with going to your assist control, to SIMV, and then down on the bottom you have your in-store hold. Okay, so we're going to press that, it's flashing, now hold it in for the next breath, in-store hold. 46 was the in-store hold and if I wanted to do an export hold I would hit it a second time now I can hold it I have an export hold pressure of 9 which is just a bit less than my peep manual breath allows me to give a patient an extra breath here uh, check my low O2 source check that um, and then I can also lock this out, especially in transport, this is helpful so you don't accidentally grab the machine and inadvertently change a setting. This causes it to lock out. Now you see the green light is locked out. Now when the green light is on, I cannot do any changes and it tells me it's locked little safety feature easy to get out of. Our alarm conditions, our alarm settings, high pressure, low pressure, low minute volume, vent in op, silence and reset and then as I said we now have a digital peep on 
the face of the machine. So you'd make all your changes down here rather than grabbing that ratchet peep knob. Okay.